Global warming is destroying our planet and is pushing us ever closer towards a dystopian future. The main contributor for this problem is plastic, with experts suggesting that 91% of plastic isn't recycled. I'm Kim Baker, and this is Global Warning, a plastic world. 30 million tons of plastic are thrown away each year in the USA, with each American discarding an average of 185 tons every year. This is a drastic number which is affecting the environment and the atmosphere. In the last 70 years alone, a total of five garbage patches have been found in our oceans, which have grown exponentially in recent times. This is current growth is threatening the future of our life as we know it. And if we're not careful, we could end up in a dystopian world submerged in plastic. The 2015 film Maze Runner, The Scorch Trials, depicted a world covered in sand, and it's believed that a similar world could exist in the future. With plastic replacing the sand, this potential influx of plastic buildup could cause havoc amongst society and spiral the world into disarray. A world submerged in plastic would affect many industries with the food industry taking the biggest hit. Crops would become sparse due to the lack of growing space. This would cause a shortage in livestock as well. Historian Brandon Grant predicts that the current trends in plastic waste would spawn a dystopian society where money holds little value and food would become the source of much violence. Well, if you look throughout history, there have been many cases of food shortages, inflation and even violence throughout the years, even as recently as this year. Venezuela, for example, started the year in food crisis. In the first 11 days in January, there were over 107 cases of looting and a number of mob raids in grocery stores. This is just an example, but shows the amount of chaos that can arise from food shortages due to plastic waste. Inflation is also another big concern for us, as many economists believe that the lack of food has the potential to cause another hyperinflation that was experienced in Germany between 1918 and 1924. An industry that is already feeling the effects of plastic waste is the tourism industry. In the last three years, a number of tourist hotspots have become deserted due to the sheer amount of plastic washing up on the beaches. The Dominican Republic felt the full force of this problem. This summer, when it was normally Golden Sand Beach, became inundated with over 30 tons of plastic. However, there is a change on the horizon. In the last few months, a revolutionary piece of equipment has been trialed in the North Atlantic that will help with the process of cleaning up the world's oceans. The, the device, invented by the Ocean Cleanup, is a long inflatable tube that acts as a portable shoreline. Plastic waste is then attracted to the device due to the flow of the ocean and is trapped inside it. The waste can then be collected by barges and transported back to land. On September 8th, 2018, the Ocean Cleanup will launch its first ocean cleanup system into the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. Over the past five years, since the Ocean Cleanup was founded, we've done a lot of work to get to this point. The biggest source of worry and most likely contributor to a dystopian future at the moment is how rapidly the Great Pacific Garbage Patch has grown. The patch is now estimated over three times the size of France, containing 1.8 trillion items of plastic. These numbers are unprecedented and are much higher than anyone ever expected. It is something that is causing scientists and environmentalists alike a great deal of distress. There are also a number of ways that you can do your part too. Refusing to use single-use plastics such as water bottles, carrier bags and coffee cup lids can help fix this problem. Correctly recycling other forms of plastic and donating to causes such as the ocean cleanup will also go a long way to combat that threat of plastic.